Hey! Are you curious about Finnish homes? Well, in this video I'm going to show you 10 things in my Finnish home that just make sense. Make sure to watch until the end and I'll be featuring one bonus item that in my opinion doesn't make any sense. I'll be also sharing why I have such a special connection with my towels. My name is Varpo and I'm your Finnish fairy godmother. I help you get connected with the Finnish culture and language and all things relating to Finland. Remember to give this video a thumbs up and subscribe to my channel. Let's go! Let's first talk bathrooms in Finland. There is so many questions coming from you guys about this one feature and that is the small bidet, uh, the tiny shower head or käsi suihko in Finnish. Now, this shower head is used to wash your private parts. It works also amazingly well with small, small heats, and it's the perfect tool to quickly clean your bathroom. Another cool feature in many Finnish bathrooms are the heated floors. They are so comfy after a shower. And in many apartments or houses, you can have the entire home with heated flooring, just like ours. Now into my favorite room of the house, which is the kitchen. Here we come across the number three. And this item is Justa Höyle, the cheese slicer. And this just makes perfect sense when you are about to do a sandwich and you need to slice your cheese or your cucumber. Uh, it is the best tool ever. Then let's go into number four, number five, number six. First, I want to talk about the infamous dish drying cabinet, Astian Kuivauskaappi. It is so convenient, you can use it for storage, you can use it for uh, your dishes, and they don't take any of the counter uh, top area. Another thing that just makes sense for a Finnish person is the dish brush. I want to know, and please do let me know in the comments, do you use a dish brush or a dish sponge? Because when I have been living in the Europe, uh, in many countries we are using a sponge. In Finland we are using a brush. And this makes sense in Finland, in my opinion, because if you use a brush you don't get your hands wet when uh, that much when you're doing a quick wash. The next item that just makes sense in a Finnish home is this tiny switch that is attached to the sink. And this controls the water uh, that you use in the dishwashing machine. We also use this similar feature uh, when it comes to the washing machine. A little bit lower in the kitchen, you will find recycling bins in Finland. And this just makes sense for the environment and for the nature. Now, in my kitchen, we have a bio waste, plastic, glass, metal, and energy waste uh, where you put everything else that can burn. Can you make a Finnish home video without mentioning the sauna? I think not. So that's why here is number eight, the sauna. There are 2.3 million saunas in Finland and we all pretty much have them in our own homes. And if we don't have them at our own home, we have a communal sauna in most of the buildings, uh, apartment buildings. The sauna also conveniently doubles as a space to dry your clothes. And those dryers aren't that popular in Finland, so we air dry our clothes. And the rack we use is called, <sighs> take a deep breath, Pyykin kuivausteline. Pyykin kuivausteline in Finnish. In the beginning, I told you that I have a special connection with my towels. And why? Well, this is number 10. And the reason is that my grandmothers have taught me the style that I fold my towels, my pillowcases and my bed sheets. And every time I do them, it just reminds me of them and the past generations. Another reason why these are special to me 
are that they are passed down from my camp grandparents to me. So it is quite popular that uh, when you are starting your own home, you get uh, bed sheets and towels from, for example, your grandparents or parents. And some of the bed sheets that I have are from the 60s. Now, in my family, when a sheet breaks down, we don't actually throw it away, but we reuse the cloth. And we actually, actually use this again and again when we are cleaning the house. Welcome to the bonus section. So, the one thing that doesn't make sense, in my opinion, in Finnish homes is the blinds. So, in Finland, the blinds uh, are for privacy reasons and they don't block the light out of the room. So, we still have to use blackout curtains. When I was living in France, I had like proper <laughs> blinds uh, outside the window and they, at least in my apartment, blocked all light out of the room. <laughs> Woohoo! There is the whole list. I would love to know in the comments what was the best item for you. I cannot wait to see you in the next video. Here is my sauna video if you want to know how to warm up uh, all three different types of Finnish saunas. Hey hey and see you next time!